بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي Hello brothers and sisters, how are you? In today's lesson I would like to show you how we can create a castellated beam in advanced steel uh, as you we know, a uh, castellated beam is a beam like uh, there are some holes inside. Uh, as you see, uh, just like this picture, uh, there is some uh, holes inside. Uh, the shape of the hole and is not uh, uh, it, it's according to design, and uh, there are many shapes of uh, you can make with pentagon, uh, pentagon, hexagon, and a circle, or any other type of. Uh, the uh, shapes that you want. Uh, the purpose, the purpose of making castellating beam. Uh, there are some, some uh, purpose. I, um, I will sh tell you about some, some one of this. If you know uh, another thing, uh, please uh, write down in the comment. So um, everyone be this is useful for everyone. Uh, one of the things that uh, reducing weight. Uh, sometimes when you uh, we have a great a big structure, a huge, uh, huge uh, structure, uh, we have to decrease the weight. We have to decrease the weight so we can use castellated beam. Uh, another thing is for mechanical purpose. Uh, sometimes if when we have um, many pipes inside inside the the beams uh, go, uh, go uh, through inside the beams, uh, we can also uh, use castellated beam for this. Uh, a type of structure also. Another thing, when we want to get a higher beam, for example, uh, I want to I want to uh, have uh, I want to have uh, 400, uh, 400 millimeters, so uh, IP uh, 400. But I don't have this I don't have this um, uh, profile or this beam. I have, for example, let's say we uh, I have um, 320 maybe. So I can I can uh, cut out in in the middle of this beam and make it another one. I don't know if you have uh, if I have uh, some pictures for that or not, but uh, I will uh, try to show you what I mean. As you see here in advanced steel, this is the uh, by the way this is a very great uh, great power pack which is an advanced uh, power pack, but it's uh, not for free. It's not available for free. Uh, as you see, you can. Uh, you can change the opening and uh, the shape of the opening. You can change everything that you want. As you see in here, uh, this uh, this is the castellated beam for this one and this one. Uh, and I want to show you uh, this one also a castellated beam and uh, the main girl and uh, the uh, secondary beam is castellated. Uh, yeah, it's just just like this. As you see here, uh, this beam is cut out, cut out cut out like this. Uh, it it will be shifted as you see just like this you see the, the the procedure for for that you will cut like this the beam that you want and after that take uh, up shift this one one uh, by one this distance should be the same with this so this one will be on the top on that as you see here and after that we weld this as you see here, uh, we roll this and we get a higher, a higher beam. So, for exa example, if, uh, let's say this uh, edge, uh, this edge plus, let's say if we name uh, here a, so uh, this is uh, edge uh, plus a. As you see, or we can we can make another thing if we want to more higher, uh, higher beam, more depth. As you see here. Just like this, we can pl uh, put a plate here. Just like this, we can put a plate here, and we get a uh, more uh, height uh, or um, more deeper uh, or a deeper beam. Okay, a deeper beam. Anyhow, so uh, let's go to uh, directly go to advanced steel, and uh, we see how we can make this one. Uh, what I want to use, I want to use, for example, I don't know, uh, ice and ice section, and uh, the length of it, let's say, uh, six meter. So it's uh, just like this. Right click after that. I want to change this uh, to IP. I don't know, uh, maybe IP four hundred is enough. Just like this. Anyhow, four hundred. 
Ja. Okay, so that's very good. Uh, I want to change the <coughs> visualization. Uh, and as you see, it's like this. So how can I how can I get uh, or how can I make this one uh, castellated? Uh, guys, as we know, we can we can make any shape with per, per polyline and cut out that one after that, copy it. What I mean, what I mean, uh, you can just go to like this and change UCS to the view, uh, which uh, any type of uh, or any shape you want. For example, let's say polygon uh, with uh, five sides or whatever, I don't know. Uh, it's just, I think. Just like this, or let's change this one first to the, yeah. Let's take to this uh, here, to here. And after that, what we can do, we can just cut here. As you see, from this one, we, cut, uh, we can cut the beam and uh, polyline. And uh, this polyline, as you see, we can just make uh, this shape. As you see here, we uh, cut out this shape from it or we can just click it and uh, copy it I don't know about for how much maybe uh, 300 I know I don't know if, if it's enough or not let's say preview as you see you can modify you can number it you can put uh, more 350 maybe uh, we can we use 15 as you see, it's just like this, or 16 maybe. Preview. Okay. So this is this a way. This is one way that we can use. But also, uh, if I copy this one, I want to show you another way. I want to show you another way. So, how can I uh, make this? I can just draw another beam the same thing the position is supposed to be like just like this okay so how can I how can I make this it's pretty easy uh, in the previous uh, lesson or in the previous tutorial I I, I talk about uh, something that advanced steel uh, tool palette is I don't know maybe it's about it's about 80% uh, of advanced steel. There are many, many, many things exist inside it, but we don't know. Okay, what we have here, we don't have here anything uh, for, for now. Uh, or not, not, I'm not uh, talking about that we don't have anything here because uh, advanced steel tool pilot is, as I told you, told you, uh, maybe about 80% of all the advanced steel. Okay, so what we have here. We have, we want, we have, we want to make holes inside this beam. So we we look for uh, something which makes hole or make beams or uh, bolts. Okay. So as you see here, uh, bolt on beam. Okay. So I will choose this one on beam. So I will select this beam. Do you have uh, any uh, connecting objects? No, I don't have any connecting objects. So I will use this one. Anyhow. Uh, let me first uh, change this one to conceptual after that right uh, just advanced steel uh, joint properties and uh, it's the same thing okay how about this one we said that it's uh, i think it's 16 is uh, is enough as you see uh, here uh, the connector type the connector type is what is we have bolts and cut holes we have three types, so we don't want bolts. Uh, we, in case of bolts, we have to use bolts for uh, shear studs. When we want to make shear stud, we will use bolts. Okay. So what we have uh, also, we don't have anchors, and we have holes. Okay, that's very good. We have holes. We know this. We have holes. As you see here, we have holes. By the way, by the way, I'll, I will show you here something else. It's, it's, it's so useful. This for me, 
and I will, I will show you uh, how. Okay, I will show you how why, why uh, this is useful for me. This there's there's something that called uh, seam beam. Okay, seam beam. Uh, we will we will we can make a seam beam with this one. Anyhow, uh, we we will discuss uh, this later. Okay, so we said holes. Uh, and the, about, the, about the reference is main system or main physical, in this case there's uh, no difference because, because we don't have any shortening. Uh, but we can uh, say physical or system, is, it doesn't matter. From the beam top, as you see from the beam top, or we can just uh, say center. When we center this one, it will uh, give us this one. Okay, that's very good. How about the side? In which side we say we change it to where? As you see, these holes we we, uh, we need in welds. By the way, we have to uh, we we'll make this one only one. The intermediate distance between them, as we said, uh, three hundred uh, seven uh, five hundred three five, or let's say this is eighty. I don't know eighty five. Uh, I, uh, no, I think seventy is enough. Okay, that's very good. We have uh, some offset distance. We have to change this one. Oh, no problem. But first close this one and uh, choose this hole. Right click, advanced properties. I'm sorry. Uh, I have to use this one. Uh, I have to use the uh, hole just by double clicking here. You can change the display type to exact with the features and just close it again. And as you see here, this uh, green line, or if you don't see this, uh, you can just change it, uh, change this one to wireframe and double click here, uh, and you can change the uh, whole type. The whole we, we want uh, 150. Okay, 150 I think is enough for this. You can you, we can use round or we can use slot. We can use slot. Uh, by y-axis okay we can give it the diameter let's say 150 and uh, this 150 maybe 200 this for about the shape of the of the of the castellated uh, beam okay as is here about the distance uh, we have this one okay so we changed uh, the shape of that and uh, after that we can change, uh, change back to conceptual and uh, click uh, here and right click advanced joint properties as you see here it's not in the in the middle of this one uh, we can uh, say start distance and distance uh, and st uh, start distance maybe say what we say 100 or 250 I don't know 200 maybe is enough we can just calculate and we see how much this one as you see we get a castellated beam without any problem Same. so as you see we get a castellated beam uh, the good or the benefit of this way is pretty it's very good why uh, when I copy uh, as you see, if I copy this one uh, in this, uh, let's say, uh, let uh, first let me make another beam. The length uh, for this time, let's say, eight thousand. Okay, and the position is uh, to be rotated by ninety degree. As you see, just like this. If I copy this one, I will try to 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 copy uh, this one. Uh, let me first change uh, this one to uh, wireframe and we have to copy this one just by selecting this one you see okay if I select like this and I use copy advanced copy copy just by uh, one first from this point to this point let's say preview we see, yeah, it comes, but it's only one. Okay, and another way 
I cannot change this distance. This distance, I have to change uh, one by one. But by using this one, let, let me try this one out. This one, just uh, make a copy. As you see here, there's a, like a, a joint. So, so, so it has a joint box. Copy to this one. And I say no. Oh my God. I get it. I get it. Okay. What I have to do now, I have to just right, uh, right click here, advanced joint properties, and I have to just, just increase uh, uh, some of these. Maybe uh, in this time, maybe it needs 20 or uh, 22, I think is enough, or 23. Let's try. Yeah, 23. By the way, if we want, we can uh, change back this one to 150, so as to be inside in the, in the middle. Anyhow. You see the difference between these two. Uh, we 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 could we we could make. So as you see here uh, is everything uh, we could uh, create a calculated beam. Calculated beam. So as you see here, guys, we uh, could get a uh, we could get this beam. And when we move this one, let's try to move it uh, to somewhere like I don't know. Uh, it's for somewhere here, for example, let's say in this at this point, okay. At this point, we can move it. After that, if we want, we can just uh, move it by something I don't know, maybe uh, five thousand. You see here, and we can make a beam and. Let's try to make a beam. And for this time, let's say 270 and the position is to be at the top uh, or at the bottom. Okay. And we change, we'll change this just to the top. Ah. Okay. We can just use uh, this one and uh, we can make a beam just uh, like we uh, saw in the in that picture now we can make uh, a beam with sheet plates of, of course uh, if we make it up uh, with the connection valve okay I'll bring uh, the connection valve here and towards the that one this is the sheet plate okay we can use this one or we can use uh, what is it sheet plate yes I'll select this one first and uh, this one second it needs some time okay as you see here I can uh, just switch between uh, yeah between the sides as you see from face or from the flange, we want it to be from flange, and we can go to plate left to right to be in this side, rectangular to be flange both. As you see, just like this, so it's to be a stiffener. And uh, plate shape, we have uh, what we have, we have straight, no problem. Bolts, we have 60 millimeters, horizontal bolts. Uh, and bolt alignment sloping or sledge is yes, like this mm, and vertical bolts from the face no I want to from middle uh, the horizontal bolts from plate or from the end of the beam as you see it's just like uh, any other uh, things and we don't uh, need to talk about any more okay by the way there's uh, some techniques that we want to uh, I want to show you uh, later uh, but not now okay so hope you enjoyed guys thank you very much uh, don't forget to uh, share this video and like this video and uh, subscribe to my channel thank you very much